Hi everyone, Jean-Pierre from teamtennis.fr and teamtennis.net, former tennis coach in France. In this video, I'm going to make a review of this racket. And this is the Yonex Victor Pro 100 version 2021 with a weight of 300 grams and strung. Okay, let's go. First, we're going to talk about the different Yonex tennis rackets. The Yonex Victor Pro 100 is part of the Yonex Victor Pro series, the most control-oriented the least powerful tennis rackets from Yonex. Yonex E-Zone rackets are the most powerful and Yonex V-Core rackets are intermediate in terms of power, top spin oriented, quite versatile. But be careful, if you compare, for instance, the Yonex E-Zone 98 to the Yonex V-Core 100, you might feel that the V-Core 100 is more powerful. So when you compare rackets from different series, it's important to compare rackets with the same head size and the same weight. Concerning the Yonex V-Core Pro 100 version 2021, it remains a control-oriented tennis racket, but it's not too hard to play with this racket. There is a good mix between power and control, we are going to talk about that, a nice access to top spin and a great maneuverability. The stiffness has been lowered from 65 to 63, which is rather close. The idea is to improve flexibility and comfort. The swing weight goes from 323 to 321, which is almost the same. There is a good maneuverability with this racket. Interesting, the beam width goes from 21 to 23 millimeters to increase the power of the racket. And indeed, I really found that this version is more powerful than the previous one. I will talk about that later in the video. Addition of the 2J NEMD material to help the frame return to its starting position more quickly after impact. That is something I cannot feel when I play with the racket. Addition of the flex, flex fuse material to improve comfort. Indeed, I found this version very comfortable. And the racket still has these technologies. First, isometric. The technology specific to Yonex you will find on every Yonex tennis racket. The frame shape rather rectangular, flat here, flat here, very specific to Yonex. It improves the forgiveness, the tolerance of the frame when you off-center the ball in the corner of the frame. And also VDM, vibration absorption system integrated into the handle of the frame. I found this 221 version to be more comfortable and more powerful than the previous version. Before we continue with my feelings on the court, for your tennis equipment, I advise you to go at Tennis Warehouse Europe or Tennis Warehouse USA. I have a partnership with this website and it's very nice from you if you use my affiliate link to buy there. Doing so, you will help me continue the videos I'm doing on YouTube. You can find my affiliate links if you click on the i here. You can also find my links in the description under the video. And you can also use one of the addresses that appear directly on the video. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go with my feelings on the court and I'm going to start with the power given by this racket. The Yonex Vicor Pro 100 is a control-oriented tennis racket with slightly reduced power, but in this category of rackets, it's not one of the hardest to play and it remains accessible for many players. I found this version clearly more powerful than the previous one, that's important. On my forehand, I had the perfect amount of power, very good feeling on my forehand. On my backhand slice, at the beginning, I lacked control on my first shots because the ball was going too high, I don't really know why, but quickly I adjusted my shots and overall it was fine on my uh, slice backhand. I had a very nice mix between power and control on my topspin backhand, a shot that is always interesting to evaluate the control side of a frame because it's a powerful shot in my game. And finally, I had a, I had a good control. I was not feared to let my arm go freely and to make a mistake. So very nice feeling of, of control. It was also fine on my serve, which is a shot that I rather use to evaluate the power of a frame because it's not a very powerful shot in my game. And it was fine also on the serve concerning the power of the frame. So this racket is going to be interesting for players who want a 645, 100 square inch tennis racket with slightly reduced power that is still relatively easy to play. 
Nevertheless, I think it's better if you're able to produce some power with your game and if you have rather large and loose swings. So, control-oriented tennis racket, but at the same time, it's not very hard to play with this racket. Now, concerning the access to top spin, I found it very nice, quite correct, thanks to the versatility of the 645 100 square inch head size and the 16 by 19 string pattern. I didn't struggle at all to make the strings move and to get a nice access to top spin with this racket. Concerning the maneuverability of this racket, the balance is located at 32 cm unstrung, a rather neutral balance, not too much weight at the tip of the racket, not too much weight in the handle, and with the shape of the head which is rather elongated and not rounded, I find the racket a little more easier to swing than other rackets with the same characteristics but with a more rounded shape. Thus, I had very good feelings on my one-handed topspin backhand, a shot where I struggle sometimes with some 100 squared inch tennis racket with a more rounded shape. So it was really fine concerning the maneuverability on my one-handed backhand. Overall, I found the maneuverability of the racket to be very good from the baseline at the net and also on the serve where it can be useful to accelerate the tip of the racket at impact. Now concerning comfort, I was really surprised by the comfort provided by this version of the Vicor Pro 100. Lots of softness when hitting, very good vibration dampening. It was a pleasure to play with this racket. It must be taken into account that the string I used was a loosely stretched Wilson Revolve 1.25 mm gauge, around 22-23 kg for the tension. A string that I always find very comfortable, but anyway, it shows that it's possible to have a great comfort with this racket. The racket also offers a very good tolerance for off-center shots. Okay guys, now to conclude concerning this Yonex Vicor Pro 100 version 2021. Really a good surprise for me. I played with the previous version. It was fine, but I lacked a bit of power, a bit of comfort. And I was really surprised by the power and the comfort provided by this new version. It's not completely different from the previous version, but clearly I found that I had more power and a bit more comfort with this new version. And I really liked that. I want to play more with this racket because personally I'm interested in this racket. Currently, I played with the previous version of this racket, which is the Prince 2 100P. But this new version and the previous one are rather close. These two rackets are close also. Maybe there is more power, a bit more power with the Yonex Vicor Pro 100, but they are not very far, these, these two rackets. So I want to play more with this racket to see which one I really prefer. But it was not expected, but I'm a bit interested personally in this racket. So finally, I will recommend this racket to intermediate or advanced players, not for beginners. It's going to be too difficult to start tennis with this racket. Players who want a racket with a 645 100 square inch head size with reduced power, but at the same time that it's not too hard to play. Players with a modern game, rather powerful with top spin, or more finesse game with slice and low top spin shots, rather flat shots. But beware of the lack of control on very powerful shots without top spin. But there is a nice amount of control with this racket, so you can put some power and there is a nice control. Players who want a nice access to top spin, players looking for a racket with a neutral balance and with a good maneuverability, players looking for a comfortable racket with a good tolerance, I really liked the comfort with the Wilson Revolve, and players finally who appreciate maybe the old Vicor Pro 100, but who would like to have a little more power and comfort compared to the previous version. That's my case, that's why I want to play more with this racket. Guys, I stop here for this video. Feel free to ask me any questions. Have fun playing tennis. And I see you very soon in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.